<laughs> All right, so yesterday I did a video for the first time of bringing my vision to a reality of inner tubing behind the Streamline RC Thrasher jet boat. Now that's the beauty of a jet boat is it doesn't have a propeller in the back so any kind of tow rope, I don't have to worry about it getting, you know, kind of spun up in the prop. But I can say that I was up all night like a mad scientist. I was reading your comments, I was looking at the pictures, people sent them to me on Facebook, Instagram, into my personal email. I got them everywhere so shout out to the whole RC community community right now. Thank you so much because I read them, I implemented them, I was even up at 6 a.m. again doing even more. So I haven't tested it yet. You guys are going to be the first ones to test it out. Let's look at what I did. Here it is, the Thrasher with the new rigging on it. And if you look, the GoPro has moved. A nice visual line on there and I've actually moved the point where I was hauling uh, <laughs> max power here as my, my rider because you'd look stupid inner tubing if you wasn't uh, having a rider there. I actually moved it to the front so I had a clevis or a, a little D-ring hook. I just took the ring out, I attached this to the front. It's super sturdy, it's got lots of power uh, so it's going to be able to whip this guy around no problem. Of course there's the jet on the V3 Thrasher. Uh, this is an amazing boat. I love it. They have bind and ride uh, versions right now if you go and check it out. I left a link in the video description box below where now you can use your own controller with these boats. But look at this. This mast right here. This is So what you're looking at is a body pin for a normal truck. Then a, a washer. Then the rope that can go 360 degrees. You can see here a washer underneath with another pin, so that sits up there if I wanted to release it I could. This is a Delrin rod, so a very plas uh, a plastic, a very strong uh, and sturdy uh, and bendable rod if it necessary. This rigging actually attaches to a set screw that I drilled through the center, just a couple of nuts on either side, and then tied off the rigging down the mast. You'll see that I have painted in here, but this is actually what I did with the mast was I drilled a hole into a metal plate, I actually took the Delrin, I shaved it down a little bit, put it in the hole, and melted the Delrin on the back of it to kind of anchor it in place. Then I took a drive shaft from an Axial SCX-10 trail truck, a one-tenth scale, slid it down over that, on top of the metal plate, secured everything with a cementing epoxy, plus I drilled it down in place. So that is not moving. I also reinforced the front pin on my Thrasher and put a clevis on the front. You guys can see it here. I didn't paint this yet, but it is cemented on there. It's very strong and sturdy. So when this extra long cable gets pulled, which will be away from the camera, this will be able to pull the way you guys have been suggesting. So again, thank you all so much for your, your help. Look at this one. One of the things we were suffering with was, you know, of course this was going down in the water. We've, we've fixed that problem more than likely with, the, with that where it is. But with water going on the inside, We've had many people suggest that I put a tube out the bottom. So shout out to the Streamline RC Thrasher owners group. Thank you very much. Uh, that is one that originally came from there when I posted my video there to help suck that water out the back when this gets on the move. I don't really have to worry about it in here because this already has a uh, pump on the inside, a bilge pump. And I was able to move the GoPro back further so we can get a better shot of the driver. Enough talking for ah. sakes, get in the water. I'm about to sweep the leg on this canal. <laughs> it is so nice today. There's barely any clouds. Okay, RC adventurers, here we go. Ugh. This is gonna be it. All of the changes made. Let's get this away from the impeller. Looks good. Good luck, little dude. Today's your day. Ugh. Oh man, I'm nervous. Most people haven't even seen my video from yesterday and here I am doing another one. <laughs> Does it work? Oh my gosh, look at this. Now you can see that mast is much taller. There he is, getting pulled forward. Should we add some speed? This is where we failed yesterday. So I'm cavitating quite a bit. Really pulling on the bow. So 
feel maybe it's too high. Let's bring it around. Okay, I'll try to adjust the prop because this has an adjustable prop on it where I can change the thrust vector on it. Okay, that's changed. I love how it pulls it now. It is better how it pulls. I wonder if the line's too long. Somebody said let out the line more so that there was less prop wash getting over to the dude and that was like in filling up the... the, the, the uh... Dude, it pulls so much. It's controlling the boat because of the amount of drag that's on it now. Well, look at that, it turns so easy. <laughs> okay, so up on the bench, you can see here I've taken the rigging off temporarily. You can see the top of this Delrin rod. Now, I just wanna say that from this point to that point, it is nine inches long. Uh, and I can say that this is far too long in the scale size. I thought I had the rigging right, but obviously I don't because it's causing a lot of drag on the boat. It's, it's literally causing more drag than in the last video where all, I just had the string coming off the back of the jet and pulling the inner tube along. The other thing I noticed, of course, with the amount of height is gonna cause that tire to lift up. And with the weight of the action figure bending down, I had quite a bit of drag and I think the, in relation to the how high this mast is, plus the, the action figure, I think once we change that, we may see a difference in the boat. So I'm gonna take three inches off of this here now and redrill the holes. And I just got off the phone with Scott, the designer of the Thrasher, uh, and he said to take this Venturi tube and cut it almost flush with the bottom. So I'm gonna do that, just so I don't have any kind of rudder effect or drag back there. Plus I have that stupid zip tie hanging out, so I should fix that. But I've removed almost as much drag as I could from the bottom, even though that looks terrible. <laughs> That's all I can do for today, but we'll cut that off and see how it helps. So that is just a hole there. That'll help that water get released from in there. Yeah, I can't help but notice how much this guy looks like me. Okay, I think that's a better position. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm looking at three inches being cut off, I thought the camera on the back is really what is inhibiting this from working. This shouldn't be still six inches high. That is just no way. So I think I'm actually gonna cut another three and a half inches off, maybe four, and we will have a better bit of luck, I think. I, I, it's just the fulcrum point for me. So I did decide to do that uh, mod even shorter. I think this will help a, a huge amount, but you can still see the washers are in place. This can move around freely. And then over to this dude, who's like still way too high. We're all expecting a face plant, uh, but it'll be worth it. The only thing that I really am bummed out about is I lost the back uh, uh, camera ability just for right now. But I think in the name of science, this is just fine to experiment with. Is this gonna work? I've got no idea, but it's a beautiful day. There's nowhere I'd rather be, and I'm here sharing it with you guys. So there we go, let's get her in the water. So the reason I even took the camera off the back is because it's gonna catch that line otherwise. Good luck, dude. Everyone's hoping you have a good swim. Oh, hello, Raven. <laughs> Look at that, in tow. Yeah. So now we're gonna find out if it works. Look at him floating away. It's so cool. How many people right now are reminded of summers or spring times on a lake behind a boat of some sort? Okay, there we go. And give it a little bit of throttle. Oh, 
Oh my God, it's working. It's skipping. Yeah, it's working. Oh my God, I wish I had a camera on the back. <laughs> Dude, it's working so much better. Woohoo! <laughs> He's literally skimming on top. Oh my God, this is awesome. I wish I had multiple cameras for you. That's my next thing I have to figure out. Woo! Oh, right into the reeds. <laughs> yeah, Max Power is taking it like a champ. There's nothing wrong. Look at this. He hasn't flipped yet. I thought for sure we were going to see a flip. Still hanging on, dude. Keep holding on. Your arm looks dislocated, but uh, you might be feeling better in a day or two. I can't even see the camera screen because there's so much sunshine today. I just kind of got a guess. Yeah! Dude, can I spin him around? Oh, he even did a jump! Once it gets to that nice speed, it just hovers across the water. Woo! <laughs> Into the bushes he goes. Look at that. Almost an immediate turnaround. He's still flying. That's insane. Wow, guys. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't be believing it. Now to get a few of these together and get some races going, hey, wouldn't that be awesome? My, fra my thrasher buddies out there, all the, all the thrasher brethren and all the sisters out there, time to find an inner tube. Put a little, put a little spike into your boat. You'll find yourself having a great time with the RC hobby. He is full of water. He is drowned right out. I was wondering what was going to happen and does that Venturi tube actually work? Well, he's got quite a bit in there. If I pull it slowly, yeah, once it gets too much in there, it wants to sink. That's okay. Unbelievable. Dude, I never thought I was going to see you again. All right, the boat is in the water still and I'm walking back to my driver's stand to give you guys a higher view. So there it is, way down there. I figured this way I could kind of get it up to speed and you guys could have a good view of it. Let's see if we can get it up to full throttle. He's looking good, I'm ramping it up. He's hopping a little. He's now outside the wake. Perfect. Full throttle. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Push me around. Did he get any water in there? No, he's still good. I'm going to end up on the other side. Unbelievable. It totally worked. I would call this a win today. There it is, my friends, RC inner tubing with a dude on the back. Well, I am calling that a major success today. I cannot believe the stability of the inner tube. 
shout out to everybody out there that left me comments in the last episode uh, to let me know how I could improve the design. Again, if you guys think I could improve the design uh, even more still, comment down below, let me know. If you liked the video, please take the time to actually hit that like button. It does help the channel and help everybody discover these cool videos. And I think everybody should get outside and have a good time with a hobby that I find fascinating and I'm pretty sure you will too. We'll see you in the next episode, my friends. Bye for now.